music guy is asking, um, kind of similar to the question from Alex. Uh, thoughts on the Pope Francis urging Catholic parents not to condemn Catholic, uh, condemn gay children. Excuse me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I love music guy because he's even providing context within the question. Info. Quote. <laughs> Parents who see that their children have different sexual orientations should not hide behind a condemning attitude, Francis said. Francis also allowed the 2021 publication of a document from the Vatican asserting that the Catholic Church won't bless same-sex unions because God, quote-unquote, cannot bless sin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, what are your thoughts, Armin? I think you should be more worried about whether same-sex couples will bless the catholic church okay because their power is rising you're going to need their blessing more than they need yours <laughs> we need the gay pope gay pope get in here <laughs> no bless seriously the like church. no we we're, we're gonna move to a world where the, if the gay if the lgbt community doesn't approve of your bigotry then you're going to be in trouble okay so you should like there was a time where they had to like, oh, please bless us, the Catholic Church. And you're like, no. Okay, we're going to move to a point point where like the Catholic Church is going to be like, oh, LGBT community, please don't completely get rid of like, we're going to be better. And the LGBT community is like, no, you have done too hard, too much hard. You get, you gets to go. You gets to go. We don't, we do not approve. Okay. So, but yeah, like, I'm glad that, you know, there's a reminder is like, it's so amazing that people want to, uh, to congratulate the Catholic Church because of what? Because of like, hey, don't be abusive to your children. Wow, so nice. Don't be like, don't be, uh, you know, don't be a bigot. Don't be like you, the ch your children who are feeling a certain ways. Don't be condemning them because of these natural urges that they have. And we're supposed to fucking clap for the Pope. Like, Oh, it, don't be abusive. Don't be psychologically abusive to your kids. Congratulations. Like even that is like, it's amazing how the Pope doesn't even say things that are supposed to be new. Like, you know, for example, I don't know, like, I don't know. There's a difference between redemption and salvation in, I forgot what it is in the Catholic church and atheists can get one of them, but not the other one. And the Pope was mentioning the one that they could already have access to. And it was nothing new. And people were like, oh, my God, this is such a new thing in the Catholic Church. You're saying atheists could also be saved to Jesus Christ. Even though the Pope didn't say that, the Pope said already was repeating the same thing that there was already the position and people keep congratulating for it. Right. But like he, this is not like if the Pope even says like Christianity already has like, oh, love this, you know, hate the sin, love the sinner thing. Right. So this is not like anything revolutionary. Be like, hey, don't be shitty to people. It's not supposed to be even kids. Even like, they're, they're, you, you're supposed to technically be even nice to like people who commit genocide, let alone kids who are feeling like that they're like, that's not, that's not like, this is not a, nothing revolutionary or something. What do you mean by you know, babies? Huh? What do you mean by that? You're supposed to I'm be just nice. saying like, I'm just saying, not being like this is not like contradicting any Catholic doctrine, right? So the Pope is not coming in and like in saying something that people are like, oh, things are getting better, you know what I mean? Like he's just like, you have a point. like, yeah, point, you know, just repeating the point, point, the parts of Christianity that people already think like is like nice and um, like for example, okay, I could be if I was the Pope and I didn't want to introduce anything new but act like I'm making things better, right? I could keep saying like, hey, we should be nice to, I don't know, um, gay people. Jesus hung out with the sinners more than he hung out with anybody else, right? And technically, I'm not saying anything new in Christianity. That was already always there. I'm just highlighting the, you know, flowery, nice parts. Oh, I think I have mail. I don't know. Uh, and then trying to get credit for, making it act like uh, for acting like i'm making things better even though this is actually horrible right so what are you saying like these people are sinners right like hey let's be nice to gay people jesus hang out all the time with the sinners that sounds like a that sounds like a beautiful thing but it's actually evil like you're just like ha let's hang out with them because they're 
even Jesus hung out with the worst of all people. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Don't condemn. Like, do not condemn gay children. Like, think about this. Like, what was the alternative? The alternative was like, oh yeah, these. I mean, these are kids. They're feeling things. What do you want them to do? Do you want the Pope to say, but like, hey, be like, be mean to your kids because they're they're because they're gay? Like, was that the was that the expectation? And all of a sudden, the Pope managed to raise above that, and now we're like, yay! I mean, do you want a cookie? Give the Pope a cookie for for not saying be mean to your gay kids, right? And I'm glad like it followed up by something that shows that the Pope, the Pope and the Catholic Church is still as like backwards and bigoted as it, it, it was before, right? Like we don't bless same-sex unions because we can't bless sin. Well, fuck off. It is, is consistent though. Yeah, it is consistent and there's nothing new. Nothing is changing. This Pope is not making things better. It's just making things that were already bigoted seem more lovey-dovey, okay? Like it's just putting a... a lipstick on their bigotry okay and people are celebrating it it doesn't need any celebration lipstick on okay? bigotry I don't, it sounds kind of gay <laughs> <laughs> shut up um no i just like you know, like you know, like we don't want to bless sin you know like i just i just want us to move past like requiring like the world needs to pass requiring blessing of the catholic church okay it should mean nothing it should be People should be proud of not being blessed by the Catholic Church, right? People are like, the blessing by the Catholic Church should be an embarrassment. It should be like, it should be a curse. It should be like, hey, get your fucking blessing, keep it to yourself. I don't want your blessing. This joke from Alex killed me. So the Pope Francis, it's for Pope France. Francis. Hey, no, don't let, that's not good. We don't use it as an insult. That sounds like it's not. A, it's not an insult. It's a play on words. It's a okay, Pope Francis. But, okay. tr- Come on, that's funny. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. You know, I just feel like we're using trans as a way to make fun of the Pope. I don't like that. But okay, sure. No, it's just a. It's a, it's a play on his name. Goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.